Owners are clashing with a billboard company. They say that a lighted sign near their home is too bright, but the company claims it's being harassed by one couple and that it is losing thousands of dollars in revenue. Ross Gadotti has the story now new at 6. The Kohlbergs have lived in their West Catanning home for decades, and they loved it. That is until that LED billboard was put in. Since then, they've had a lot of problems and now are being sued because of it. It is big. 12 foot by 40 foot billboard. And it is bright. 720 times an hour. It flashes. And it's all but driven Patty and Andrew Kohlberg out of their senses. The flashing is enough to drive you crazy. Owned by Oliver Outdoor Advertising, installed in 2012, the board dominates the hill across from where the Kohlbergs and 20 other families live. The Kohlbergs say they tried to talk to the company, first asking them to at least dim the sign at night. Oliver Advertising apparently did just that, but it didn't help much. Patty Kohlberg then asked if the sign could be shut off between midnight and 6 a.m. And he said it'll never happen. Next step for the Kohlbergs, inform advertisers using the display of the problems it was causing. All these people that you call, did you ever tell them to stop advertising with all of them? Never once. Then came Christmas Eve. A package was delivered to the Kohlbergs, and it wasn't from Santa. I get a knock at the door from the Armstrong County Sheriff's Office serving us papers that we are being sued. The plaintiff, Oliver Advertising, the damages sought $100,000. What grounds? Because we have interrupted their advertising business. The suit claims Patty's calls to Oliver Outdoor Advertising clients resulted in lost revenues after the ads were apparently pooled, but Patty maintains... Well, all we want is it shut off at night. Uh, I don't think anybody's asking too much to say, can we have our own little abode and uh, live our years away peacefully? Now, I called Oliver Advertising to get their side of the story and talk about the problem. However, no one returned my phone calls. For now, however, the Colbergs say, if it has to go to court, so be it. In West Catanning, Ross Gadotti, KDKA-TV News.